The Phenom printer arrived, from 3D Printing Canada, very quickly and in a crate. Let's go over all the contents, as we unpack the printer. The inside is very well protected, and everything is actually inside the foam parts. The power adapter. A metal scraper. The power cord. The build plate knob. Some gloves. A plastic scraper, USB stick, build plate screws and Allen key tools. Some extra FEP film. The metal vat. And some funnels. the build plate and the plate is angled now the first releases were not let's have a look inside Now, time to set up the printer using the supplied documentation. Remove the paper cover and lift the plate to clean the screen with IPA. The screen calibration test. Purchased separately from Tiny Machines 3D was two magnetic surface plates. This will be added to the plate, before setting the zero distance of the printer. The magnetic sticker adheres to the plate side. The magnet is very strong. The plate is cleaned with IPA. And tightened in place. To set the zero distance, 
press the home button to bring the plate down. Then loosen the plate screws and then, gently press the plate down to tighten them back up. Check to see if a sheet of paper can be slid under the plate, if not, good to go. Then set the zero distance. The vat was cleaned with IPA. Put in place and screwed in. All set up now, and ready for our first test print. The supplied USB stick contains the test files. Now let's add some PO Poly Deft resin. The test print will use the entire plate to test the entire screen. The following settings are the defaults. And it's done. No failures, looks all good. They very easily came off the plate. Using a Ziploc bag and some IPA, they were then put into a ultrasonic cleaner. They cleaned very good. To cure them, a homemade UV, LED pot was used. They turned out great. Now with that out of the way, let's print some fun stuff. Printing a black widow head.
a any cubic cure and wash station was picked up. The anti-aliasing was turned on for another print of the head. The middle head is more white, this was cured in the homemade UV pot. All the prints were good, and the anti-aliasing had a small improvement as well. Moving on, printing a tourniquet from heavy metal. This print turned out really well. The wash using the Annie Cubic Station was okay, but not as good as the ultrasonic cleaner. Eligu Water Washable Resin was used to continue the Tarna print. The print settings needed to be changed to prevent failures. The parts that did succeed, looked very good. Picked up Monocura 3D Plat Bond to help with bonding to the plate. For a good test, the Tarna bases were printed and they are printed solid as all the parts have been so far. Also, these are the settings, that seem to work without failures using Eligu water washable resin. The settings seem to be high, and may be able to be turned down, but for now these settings work without issue so far. The print was successful, and these two parts were very large and heavy. Here are some of the parts that were printed. and some partial assembly of the kits.